Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome back. So, tis the season. That's right. We're talking spring preview for Yankee Candle. It's, I don't want to say it's early, because last year I did my spring preview uh, right around Black Friday. I, I was able to get some stuff. This year, it's been a little slow, and I was able to procure a lot more than I did last year uh, that early in the game. I only had two fragrances last year. I had um, the Early Spring Bloom and the uh, Rainbow Cookie. Uh, this year I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six fragrances. And I have smelled others that I chose not to get because they are just basically dupes um, of some existing fragrances that, fragrances that have been out. So I know I put a poll up on my community tab Asked if everybody was ready for uh, spring candles, and uh, they're not. <laughs> you guys aren't. But um, I want to do my journalistic duty, if you so say, and um, give you guys a preview. We're also going to talk a little bit about the 50th anniversary, which I'm going to talk about here. Um, so Yankee Candle is turning 50 in 2019. So uh, this little little history, little history here. If you don't know the story, there. So 1969, <clears throat> Mike Kittred Sr. started the company. Basically, was going to be making a, a present for his mom, and he melted down some crayon wax and used some string from the kitchen or whatever. Um, apparently, he showed it to his neighbor. His neighbor said, "Oh, I want to buy that." So the neighbor gave him money to. Uh, purchased that and then gave him enough money to make more and I guess him and his buddies got got going and they turned into candle kind of what it is uh, well, not, not today but what it was uh, up until you know the mid early 2000s um, not today right um, just quick highlights here um, French vanilla was one of the very first scented candles right they didn't do scent scented candles for a while but french vanilla 1977 was one of their very first candles um and i had heard it was one of their very first but i didn't know the exact date and the other one that shocked me i had no clue i mean uh, i'm not a yankee candle historian i don't know much you know about the early days but balsam and cedar only came out in 2004 that candle is like their number one best-selling christmas candle of all time or best-selling candle of all time period uh 2004 that's only 14 years old when you think about it and that candle has done so much for the company um you know back uh, a few years back that i remember going into the store they had the 300 hour jars uh i don't know they were four wick or five wick you could buy i think each store had one but they're like 300 bucks and back then i mean i was like in high school so obviously i didn't buy it but if i knew then what I know now, I would have bought it. If I had the money, I would have bought it. Um, regret not getting that. So 50th anniversary, uh, a couple of the other ones, uh, Splash of Rain, um, Bayberry, Bayberry, right? Um, not Holiday Bayberry, but Bayberry was one of their first scents. And also uh, Salt Mist Robes, one of his first scents. Uh, Apparently that's Mike Kittrich, Kittrich's favorite scent, um, or at least it was at one point. Um, so we'll uh, we'll see. But so 50th anniversary, what Yankee Candle is doing for the 50th anniversary is the special returning favorites um, are basically going to be in their a special jar, and they're going to have like a circular type logo on them, a gold band says 50th anniversary on them. And they're going to be doing some throwbacks from different decades. So we're going to be doing the 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s. So uh, that's what's going to happen for the special uh, returning favorites starting in January. And I know I've seen uh, Splash of Rain and Rainbow's End. Um, but they could be reaching back further. If they're smart, they're going to reach back and give us some things that we haven't had in years instead of the normal traditional um, uh, returning favorites that we get every year. So that's my 50th. I'm hearing there might be some other internal changes that might make some uh, some folks happy. Um, 
So we'll see about that. Announcements probably to come around the first of the year, um, right after right after uh, the holiday season and the start of the new calendar year. So we'll see. See if those changes um, are for the better or for the worse. Uh, anyone know what Harlan's doing? Right? Anybody know what Harlan's doing? So we'll find out. Um, okay. So I have a spring preview here. Uh, we'll talk. I got. I have one cent of the non-special collection, and then I have five of the six. Um, I think there's a six handle. I haven't seen it in person, um, but it's. I've, I've. I've heard about it. I haven't seen it though. Um, so Sunday brunch. So we'll go with. Uh, yeah, we'll go with the non-Sunday brunch collection first here. And this is going to be Al Fresco Afternoon right here. I have most of these in the 3.7 ounce single wick um, house warmer jars there. And uh, this is this is a really nice scent. I I am I was shocked because the spring lineup for last year abysmal, abysmal. I mean nothing really. Um, was great sun drenched sun drenched apricot rose was great um not great it was good but nothing was like amazing so um here we have al fresco afternoon and i found uh, some notes here or at least a description it basically says a picnic in the shade surrounded by wildflower and juniper buds and just a touch of nectarine swirling in the breeze so when i first saw this uh candle few months back the label at least i was like well, what the heck is that what is an alfresco afternoon because yankees just getting really weird in their naming conventions lately it's just like so this is actually really nice there's a, a sweetness of a citrus right from the from the drink there but there's a woodiness there's a green note um and i think that's probably coming from the junipers but this is easily of the four regular spring uh candles easily my favorite um of the four i've smelled two of them so i can't say the other two i don't like yet um but of the two that i've smelled from the regular spring lineup this is certainly certainly my favorite so a uh, fresco afternoon very nice i cannot wait to burn this um very good scent very clean very woodsy there but that wood note mixed with the citrus note i like it i like it a lot so next up we have the sunday brunch collection so sunday brunch is basically going to be a, a foodie floral collection that's coming out in the spring uh it's their uh, basically a name collection uh that they haven't done in a while the last one they did was the winter wonderland collection that did they didn't do this past christmas season but they did last year then they did the uh before that, right, they did the uh, National Parks collection here. So we finally have a collection here. And I'll show you the, the large jar that I have here first. Um, and because the labeling is a little different than the other ones here. So this is Sunday brunch. This is the uh, blush bouquet. And here we have special, what does it say there? New Sunday brunch collection all the way around on the gold on the rim there and here we have a different different label up here still the same kind of keyhole label there we have a different uh design on the bottom there we have a ribbon that says sunday brunch collection and here we have uh pink peony flowers on there so this is basically just a very uh florally feminine floral very pinkish floral they're not like a white floral where they're very like bright and like they, they punch you in the face um with with the fragrance there this is more subdued uh so if you like pain if you like peonies or any of those <sighs> does it go like old lady-ish uh maybe but it's certainly not like any of those other uh perfumey florals that that Yankees had lately. Uh, there was one from the fall. Uh, I forget which one uh, that was, but it's certainly not that uh, type of feminine um, floral fragrance for sure. So 
I, I like it. Um, it's not heady, right? So it's not like heady floral. So <clears throat> I'll burn it. We have a nice pink, light pink wax there. So this is Blush Bouquet. Next up, we have a small jar. Strawberry, white strawberry Bellini. Right there. Right there. So this is a a really sweet, juicy strawberry. Uh, this one reads, I don't know what it reads here. Uh, blissful brunch companion sweetened by mango and pineapple. I, I do get the mango. No, I do I do get that mango there. <clears throat> but as far as like a, a beverage, uh maybe like a smoothie, right? Maybe like one of those alcoholic uh strawberry smoothies that you would get that they're like they're like the slushy type. Um I don't really drink those, but um, I've had them once or twice, and they come in like the glasses like this. <clears throat> Drink it. It's uh, it's sweet, but it's not overbearingly sweet. So, <clears throat> like strawberry, was it strawberry lemon ice? That what it is? Strawberry watermelon ice. That one's sickeningly, sickeningly sweet to me. <clears throat> so now they rub and get warmer a little bit. Yeah, I do get the mango and the strawberry mixing. Mixing pretty well. I do like that. Not really a scent that I would probably probably burn on a regular basis. Just because I'm not really, not really into the sweet beverage, fruity scents like that. And um, so next one we have here is grilled peaches and vanilla. Right there. Very nice uh, light orange color there. And this is like a, it's like the same color as strawberry lemon ice, strawberry watermelon ice, the same color wax there. <clears throat> now the single wick. This one reads, uh, caramelized brown sugar, gold honey drizzled over grilled peaches with vanilla cream. So at first sniff of this in the store, um, I felt like it was peaches and cream from last year, but toned down a little bit there. Then I got smelling it a little bit more and I started picking up more of a grill note, like not like smokiness, but you can tell that the peach is certainly not like fresh, juicy, um, creamy, you know, <clears throat> but it, it does have similarities to it. But that one was just too sickly sweet for me also. Um, running theme here. I don't like fruity fragrances. So, that's not bad. I think this is going to be a hit. I think it's going to be pretty much of a, of a hit there for everyone. Next up, I have it in a, and this is going to be a hit for me. I, I really love this fragrance. And I saw it in a milk cup, and I almost got it in a milk cup. But uh, this is Floral Candy. In a tart, sorry about that, but man, so this is like at first sniff, I was like, Oh, this is really like a, a sweeter um cotton candy, but it's it's not because it also has some florals in it, obviously, floral candy, right? But it has like daffodils, I'm getting a lot of daffodils from this, um, and it's sort of like walking into a nursery in early spring right before Easter and they have all kinds of daffodils tulips uh, hyacinths Easter lilies all kind of just blooming out there uh, I kind of get that feel but I also get like a, a sweetness like a sugary sweetness on this um, now this is supposed to be part of the floral candy <laughs> this is supposed to be a part of the uh, Sunday brunch. It might be phase two. Um, spring, they always do like a phase one and phase two. Uh, so Sunday brunch, I don't know if they're going to do a phase one and phase two. Um, but, you know, we'll uh, we'll see there. Yeah, this is nice. I, I can't wait to melt that. I'm going to be picking it up there. 
It has a daffodil and an orchid uh, on here. So obviously that daffodil is coming through. And the last one I have here, I think is going to be a hit with a lot of, a lot of people. Um, Belgian waffles right there. I don't think they've ever done a waffle scent before. And if, I'll tell you right now, if you like Bath and Body Works um, waffle cone, you're going to like this. Um, vanilla cone, little different. Not vanilla cone sweeter. Vanilla cone is, is sweeter than this. This is waffle cone, and this is basically... Uh, a waffle that uh, you put in the gridiron um, and with the griddle or, you know you know when you go to, to a hotel and they have uh, the things that you flip back and forth there you, you know, squirt the uh, batter on there that's the smell that's the Belgian waffle that's the smell I get I don't really get the Belgian waffle on the ice cream but I get the Belgian waffle straight up buttery Belgian waffle waffle cone from uh, Bath and Body Works certainly is coming here. That one, I love the scent on this past summer, but the uh, uh, performance was horrible. Puny Wick Syndrome, right from the very, very first burn there. Uh, unfortunately, that candle kind of sold out pretty quickly, if I recall. So this was this is going to be a hit, I think, um, for all of you bakery gourmand lovers there. So that is a waffle cone. Now, the other one coming out, I don't know if we're getting it here. Uh, it's supposed to be something about like a sweet rose, something like that there. Um, so the other, other fragrances coming out um, in the normal spring lineup, Moonlit Blossoms. I haven't burned that or smelled that one yet. Um, C, what's that one called there? Um, Seaside Woods. I smell that in um, uh, tea light form, and honestly, I just got beechwood from it and candle beechwood. So that was nothing, um, nothing special. Passed on it. Um, the European version, the European driftwood, uh, is superior in my opinion there. And then the other one is uh, turquoise glass. I I don't know anything about it. I mean, it's, it's glass, turquoise glass. You know, that little round pebbles, turquoise glass. So the normal spring lineup has no theme. We have like some florals, we have two donical ones, and then we just kind of have um, this thing out in the woods. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm really enjoying this though. It is, I hope this performs. I really, not this jar itself, but I hope that um, this does uh, perform um, in one of the formats there. So, coupon. I forgot to mention this in my last one. It's back. The free medium jar with any purchase starts December 19th to the 24th. You can go in there and buy a $2 tart. Or if they have the dollar air fresheners on sale, you can buy that and get a $26 jar for free. Slim pickings after the first day, though. All of holiday will probably be gone, so you're going to have to go get your summer, get your spring candles, get your Sicilian lemon, get your, um, you know, all those other um, fun scents that I don't normally uh, participate in. So, sorry for the long video, but we had a lot to talk about. So, 50th anniversary, 2019, um, maybe some changes, we'll see, for the better or worse, who knows. Um, special special jars coming up there. A uh, Sunday brunch collection and a normal spring collection there. Oh, and there's going to be uh, new elevation candles as well. Um, if they fix the wick issues, they'll be perfect. So, guys, thanks for watching. It's been 20 minutes, so have a good one. I'll see you.